Uh, welcome to another edition or episode of my vlog series. Um, it correct. So it's all about family, love, and life. And today I'm going to share to you how to um, learn or how to yeah how to learn how to become a virtual assistant or commonly known as VA. So. Um, dito, malalaman natin, lalo na sa mga nanay na gusto kumita additional income, um, yung hindi makapagtrabaho sa labas because you have to take care of the children and nobody will be taking care of the children. So, um, it, it's the best opportunity for you at home. Um, maraming mga kailangan lang tandaan. Siyempre kasi, siyempre pag sinasabing, kadalasan pag sinasabing work from home, di ba baka scam yan or fake yan or um, networking yan or MLM yan, multi-level marketing, mga ganon. So, hindi natin itatakil yun. Okay? Um, we are just going to learn more about the skills that are needed for you to be able to get a um, the virtual assistant job. And ano nga ba talaga ang virtual assistant para maintindihan ng mga uh, mommies or ng mga followers natin saan uh, na hindi pa nakakaintindi kung paano virtual assistant. And probably, you already have that skill. You just have to um, nurture it and you just have to learn how to apply it to the job for you to be able to start and, you know, earn, start earning money working from home. So, ano nga ba ang virtual assistant? Okay, ang virtual assistant is basically um, the term. Okay, it's the term coined for people who are outsourced, hired outsourced um, by small businesses, means and direct hire from other countries, well, particularly in the US, Australia, and Europe, UK. Um, and you are called virtual assistant all because of the term virtual, because online. So you provide services online for your clients. And um, assistant, basically, because mostly, um, it's a general thing, okay? So it's more of like an admin work. Madalas, madalas. Ang virtual assistant is admin work. Um, so you do everything that your boss would tell you or your employer would tell you. And, um, or I would rather say client. Kasi pag employer, you are not actually employed by the company. You are just outsourced. So, uh, ang tawag, legal term for virtual assistant is actually independent contractors. So contractors kayo. And it's more of like you're a small business offering your services to the client. So, um, your client would ask you to do some tasks. Uh, pinaka basic would be data encoding and stuff like that. Uh, but that's basically what virtual assistant is. But, of course, nagle-level up na rin siya si, si VA. So, may mga um, professional services na rin na po pwedeng ibigay ng virtual assistant. At uh, yun ang ating alamin. But first and foremost, paano nga ba magsimula ng virtual assistant? Okay? So you have to remember the six important skills before you start or before you decide that you want to be a virtual assistant or you start working from home. Kasi pag wala itong six skills na to, medyo mahihirapan po tayong mag-VA dahil yun ang kailangan. Okay? Yun ang kailangan natin. Ayan, yes, of course, communication skills. Uh, that's the number one, okay? That's the most important thing um, that you have to have, of course, for you to become a virtual assistant or for you to be able to find a virtual assistant job. Um, syempre, kasi you would be communicating most of the time with your clients. And, of course, kasi nga, it's online, so... Uh, you don't get to talk face to face so hindi personal yun talagang magkaharap kayo so mostly it would just be via Skype or Hangouts or Slack or whatever application that your client would prefer for communication but mostly um, yun kakausapin ka nila tawagan. so of course you have to have the basic communication skills um, you don't have to be very very fluent in English but it would help if you could, you know, speak fluently and yung maintindihan ka ng client, huwag naman yung barong English, di ba, na hindi ka maintindihan ng client. And it's not to um, degrade or, or, or um, parang um, 
yung bin, hindi na natin binibigyan ng pagkakataon yung iba. But um, it's important, okay? It's important. Kasi kahit may may accent or ano man, as long as you can communicate fluently, yung may magkakaintindihan kayong dalawa ng client, okay na yun. That's the most important thing. Ayan, of course, um, the second important skill is to have interpersonal and intrapersonal skills. So, let's first differentiate what is interpersonal and intrapersonal, okay? From the word inter, okay, between. So, interpersonal is more of how you communicate with your client. So, it's related to number one, your communication skills, diba? <clears throat> so, interpersonal skills, it doesn't necessarily mean verbal, but it could also be non-verbal. So, when you say interpersonal, kailangan marunong kang makipag-communicate sa client, whether via writing or via verbal communication. Okay, yung nag-uusap kayo. <clears throat> like what I've said earlier, via Skype or via Slack, or pwede rin sa email, okay? Um, it's really important for you to learn how to communicate yourself or your thoughts via email kasi syempre minsan si client masyadong busy or walang panahong makipag-usap sa'yo and they would just say, okay, just send me an email, I'm going to review and you know, I'll decide from there. So, kapag hindi maayos yung communication natin, hindi natin naparating kay client yung gusto nating iparating via email, Medyo na mali yung interpretation ni client So medyo um, Mahihirapan na tayo doon So magkakaroon ng disagreement Magkakaroon ng miscommunication O pwedeng ma-misinterpret pa ni client So mahirap Kasi hindi face to face So yun ang mahirap kapag online lang talaga yung communication So kailangan natin um, alamin yan okay? Kailangan natin sabihin yan And also of course listening din It's also important uh, as, as your interpersonal skill is your listening skills mo. Kailangan kang matutong makinig. Hindi lang dahil makikinig ka lang. <laughs> Or pagbingin ka, hindi ka na pwede mo. Iba kasi yung listening, di ba? Yung pag sinabi listening, you understand everything what your client is trying to say. Um, hindi masamang magtanong, okay? Hindi masamang magtanong, pero syempre, um, pag nagdi-discuss si client, kailangan attentive ka, you... you try to understand every um, piece of information that your client is trying to impart to you para maiwasan na yung paulit-ulit na communication or paulit-ulit na pagsabi, okay? So, that's interpersonal skills. Pag sinabi naman intrapersonal, so, what's happening um, around you or on, how, how you are able to adapt to your um, environment? with regards to your communication skills. So, sabi ni Wikipedia, okay, basahin lang natin dito para makuha natin yung pinaka-exact definition ng interpersonal skills or interpersonal communication. So, sabi ni Wikipedia, interpersonal communication is a communica- communicator's internal usage of language or thought. It can be useful to envision intrapersonal communication occurring in the mind of the individual in a model which contains sender, receiver, and feedback loop. So, pag sinabi ditong intrapersonal, um, parang actually, ano din siya, parang interpersonal din. Kasi parang, ano, but the thing is, you have feedback. So, ibig sabihin yan, um, when you are discussing things with your client, hindi lang yung oo ka lang oo, okay? And most of the foreigners, particularly um, the, uh, the Americans, or the, uh, pag, pag U.S., clients ka nagsiserve, um, they love feedback, okay? They really want you to ask questions or you provide feedback kung meron ka bang nagustuhan doon sa program, meron kang isasuggest sa campaign, you think out your thoughts, okay? It's more of like thinking out your thoughts, saying out loud, okay? Saying it out loud, yun, yung, yung term na yan na um, ipinaparating mo kung ano yung nasa isip, hindi lang yung parang mag-iisip ka, parang huwag na lang, parang baka nakakahiya, baka hindi maganda, or baka hindi magustuhan ni client, or whatsoever. So, hindi yon Kasi pagka gano'n na lang sa mindset mo, may hirapan ka lang i-communicate. So, pwedeng, alam mo yun, baka nagustuhan pala ni client, so sayang naman. Lalo na kung sa marketing ka, may campaign, meron kang suggestion, tapos hindi mo sinabi. So, sayang, di ba? If, if you think it could contribute, then that's better. And of course, hindi naman din win-win situation yan. Ang ano lang naman dun is, you think... You, you say it out loud. Kapag hindi na gusto ni client, eh, at least you have, you know, you have tried your best to tell it to your client and to suggest whatever you think would be best for the company. 
And then that's it. And probably in the future, makonsider, mabalikan ni client yung thought mo. At least you were able to say that. So, it's important. Okay, so we have to have interpersonal and interpersonal communication. Number three, of course. You have to have good computer knowledge. Siyempre, hindi po tayo gumagamit ng typewriter dito, no? So, kapag mag-virtual assistant ka, kailangan marunong ka sa computer. Basic lang, kahit basic lang. Kasi, like, for example, if um, you would be hired to do um, encoding or data encoding, so, syempre, kailangan marunong kang, hindi lang naman sa marunong kang mag-type, Oh, syempre, unang-unang titinanan is typing skills, no? So, hindi lang marunong mag-type. But, of course, you have to learn also how to um, how to navigate or how to use basic applications like um, Microsoft Word or Microsoft Excel. Syempre, puta mo ilalagay. Yung copy-paste na yan, dapat expert ka na dyan. If you want to be a virtual assistant, madali lang naman copy and paste, di ba? So, yun. Kailangan meron kang um, um, good computer knowledge. And, of course, uh, hindi naman kailangan maging IT, pero syempre, yung mga tipong simpleng um, um, troubleshooting. Kasi, ano yun eh, um, pag may mga beryang nangyayari, hindi naman natin maiiwasan yan. Alam nga namang mag-stop ka na mag-work, so sayang yung oras, lalo na kung per hour ang bayad sa'yo. Uh, sayang, sayang, di ba? Kung hindi mo ma-resolve ka agad. So, importante talaga yun na magkaroon ka ng... Um, basic computer knowledge if you want to be a virtual assistant or if you want to work um, a VA job. Okay? Number four. Okay, number four na tayo. Um, you have to have the basic phone etiquette or netiquette. Tinatang nyo ng netiquette. Netiquette, of course, kasi it's, it's in the internet. You know, you're on the net. So, basic phone etiquette, ibig sabihin, yung mga do's and don'ts of how you handle phone calls or how you talk to a client or how you talk to a customer if you are doing a VA and you are doing customer service, di ba? So, so, pwede kasi kapitan ka ng client ng hmm, VOIP sa system mo para makapagkawag ka or may, may, may karoon ka ng ability or capacity to accept calls coming from their country and uh, from their customers so you should have this basic phone etiquette so how do you handle it's more of like you know customer service thing so how do you handle the right way of answering calls like for example you have to answer calls within three rings diba yung mga ganong basic na yun huwag patatagalin yung ring um, of course you have to listen to your customer hindi yung ikaw lang yung daldalan daldal ganyan ganyan and sa net naman um, of course yung paano yung mga words to avoid lalo na pag chat kunwari pag chat support ka naman <clears throat> um, as a VA so syempre ano yung mga um, typical words that you have to answer kapag sumasagot ka ng chat um, what, what are the words that you have to avoid mga ganun so yun lang yung kailangan natin intindihin um, and of course medyo combo naman to so, alam naman natin to so I think sa so, number 4 swak naman tayo sa number 5 hindi po tena number 5 pa lang so number 5 number 5 na tayo so isa na lang number 5 um, you have to be internet savvy or software savvy. Ano ba yung savvy na yan? <laughs> savvy ng savvy. Okay. So, pag internet um, savvy or computer, uh, sorry, software savvy, ibig sabihin nun, kailangan po marunong tayo sa internet. Siyempre. Kasi pag sinabi ni client, kunwara, you um, try to search for this and that. Eh, hindi ka marunong gumamit ng browse browser or hindi ka gumamit ng Chrome. Hindi mo kinala si Google at hindi ko yung friend ni, um, uh, what do you call this, ni, uh, ni Bing or ni Yahoo. So, hindi mo alam kung saan nahanapin yung information na gusto mo. So, how are you going to do your job? ba? So, ganoon lang naman kasimple yun. Kung, kung hindi ka marunong, lalo na kapag virtu- uh, ang, ang, ang virtual assistant work mo eh uh, about data encoding. ba? So, tapos hindi ko mo alam. Usually, pag data encoding kasi before you're able to provide all those informations, you have to do a massive research of things. Like, kunwari, um, the client wants a list of um, all the um, uh, what do you call this um, baby stores or yung mga uh, tindahan na pang pang baby yung mga bilihan ng mga baby materials sa New York for example 
or in California, o tas bibigyan lang siya ng mga zip code, tapos hindi mo alam i-search yun, and you don't know what keywords you need to type on Google, so mahirap, di ba? So, kailangan ganun din. Software naman, well, of course, karamihan naman ng mga software na ginagamit for VA, eh, part of the training yan, kapag nahire na kayo, so you don't have to worry about it. But of course, kahit ka paano, marunong lang kunwari, yung simpleng applications lang, like Microsoft Office, kailangan yun, kasi basic yun, di ba? Or Google Docs, mostly kasi Google Docs is easier, you don't have to upload na or attach files via email. So with Google Docs kasi, kapag doon ka na nag-type, so automatic siya na si save, and then you just have to share the link or the file to the client, and it's automatically sent to them. So you don't have to worry about it. So yun, so yun yung mga kailangan na kailangan mong matutunan. So, pag hindi pa, eh, uh, hindi ko alam kung ano kung <laughs> taong ka pa na buhay at hindi mo pa alam yan. But of course, I am not saying that there's no hope. You have to learn those things. Um, it's not yet uh, late for you, okay? Kailangan, may mga basic, ano naman, may mga basic tutorials online. Madali lang naman i-follow. So, if you really want to start working from home, if you want to start uh, working as a virtual assistant, then you have to start learning. The internet, si Google ay i-friend ninyo, gawin yung BFF, at of course, software like Microsoft Office. Okay. Last but not the least, okay? Siyempre, of course, you have to have a specific skill that you could promote and you could um, you could actually sell to your client, okay? So, siyempre, to learn, uh, to, sorry, to earn more, uh, hindi ka dapat confined dun sa isang skill, okay? But I'm not saying na kailangan meron kang specific skill para masimulan mong maging virtual assistant, okay? Kahit marunong ka lang mag-communication skills, okay na yan. Kasi kadalasan naman yan, kailangan lang <clears throat> ni client ng mga, kunwari, um, appointment handler, o mga appointment setter, like, kunwari, sa mga, usually, mga um, dental, sa dental industry sa US. So, they need somebody who will handle the booking appointments, yung mga mag-book ng appointment sa kanila. So, yon malaking bagay na yon And then, from there, um, I suggest lang, ha, um, for you to be able to level up on your skills, uh, wag kayong makonfine sa job description ninyo or kung ano lang yung binigay. And I always tell this to my people whenever I handle my team, there's somebody under me. I always tell them, do not be confined to your job description. Bakit ako nakarating sa pinalalagyan ko ngayon kung anong position ko ngayon? Kasi nag-level up ako ng skills ko. So I try to acquire as much skills as I can. Yes, I'm a writer. I'm a passionate writer. It's my passion, actually, uh, writing. So, I'm a, um, I'm a writer by heart. I always say that. Uh, pero hindi ako natapos doon. It, it, it was just my um, stepping stone to um, my career right now. So, from there, I tried to learn things, okay? Little by little. So, I will share that to you later. But definitely, yun lang yung, yung advice ko for number six. Um... You have to learn a certain skill. Okay, you have to have a certain skill. So, kunwari, if it's data encoding, syempre, kung mabilis ka mag-type, yun, maganda yun, kasi mas makakarami ka sa pag-encode. Um, if you are good naman in talking, so, papwedeng customer service, meron na, meron ng mga call center at home. So, legit yan. Um, ano pa ba? Um, if you are good naman in design, ma- mahilig ka mag-adobe Photoshop and things like that. So, yun. Malaking bagay na rin yun. So, pwede mo na rin simulan yun. And, hindi ka kailangan makonfine sa pagiging uh, simple VA lang. So, kung marunong ka sa Photoshop, then, you know, sell that skill to your client. Okay, so yun na po yung six basic skills na kailangan natin. Um, for you to uh, be able to start working as a VA or virtual assistant, online and start working from home okay and now i'm going to share to you the back to the sinabi ko kanina how i started on my own okay kung paano ako nagsimulang mag work from home um actually i started working from home when i was in college uh that's a province coming on and I, w- I don't have anything to do so sabi ko parang na bored ako or man, nag, nag, nag try ako mag browse online and it was friendster then <laughs> Huwag na kayong magtanong kung anong edad ko dahil hindi ko sasabi. <laughs> but, mahala na kayong maghula. But basically, it's Friendster then Wala pang Facebook. 
So, browse-browse ako kay Friendster and um, I was able to find this online job. It says, um, ghostwriter for hire. So, kailangan nila ng ghostwriter. So, medyo na-intriga ako dun sa term, ghostwriter. Medyo bago sa pandinig at pambasa ko. So, inano ko siya ako, ano ba yung ghostwriter na yan. And I tried. Um, dahil nga passion ko ang writing. So, sabi ko, okay, may bentahe na ako. Marunong ko magsulat. So, I tried it. And basically, what they what, when they say ghostwriting, um, kasi diba... When you say writing, when you're into writing, lalo na sa mga journalism graduates out there like me or sa mga journalism student, di ba? You know na when you write something, di ba? It, it's more of like a satisfaction if you see your name online or kas- kasabay dun sa title na sinulat mo, di ba? So, yun yun. Uh, the glory of the byline, okay? In journalism, we call it the glory of the byline. But here, in ghostwriting, you don't get to own the byline. Kasi ang may, may ownership noon is nandun sa client. Yung nag-request ng article na yon So, yun yung kaibahan. Ng, yun yun basically yung meaning ng ghostwriting. And so, siguro, sabi ko, sige, okay, sulat. So, sulat ako. First article lang. Parang 500-word article. You write something about this one. May mga instructions naman. So, you just have to follow. And sabi ko, sige, hindi, hindi naman ako sure. Isang sulat lang naman to Pag hindi ako binayaran ito, di okay. Hindi na, di ba? And then eventually... Luckily, actually luckily, okay naman siya. Nagbabayad naman yung contact ko na yun. And I don't, it, it's not a direct hire actually. Kasi um, yung, yung contact ko na yun, siya yung parang middle person. Siya yung taga-contact nun sa client. Siya yung taga-bigay lang sa akin ng task. Yung anong topic sa kailangang isulat. How many words are required. And doon nagsimula yung keyword density. How many times you have to repeat. And eventually, I was able to learn search engine optimization. Or doon ko na natutunan magsulat writing for search engines or yung tinatag na SEO writing. So, hin- okay, I started that job wala akong kaalam-alam sa SEO. Okay? Ang pinaka, ano ko lang, basic ko lang is yung writing. So, yun yung sinasabi ko kanina, you have to have something, skills, that's already innate in you and natural in you para maging stepping stone mo to learn more. And sa akin, writing and then of course, SEO. Tapos, Nagkaroon ako ng pagkukusang matuto. Kasi syempre, may mga times na um, you have to upload online, nagamit ka ng mga websites, like WordPress, ganyan. Tuturuan ka naman ni client. Okay, or tuturuan ka naman ng ano. So, doon ako natuto. And, uh, doon ako nag-try na magpursige, alamin kung ano pa. Like, for example, for SEO, ayoko lang sa SEO writing lang. So, nag-try na ako mag-level up. So, yun yung kailangan natin. Okay? para maging successful ka, not just for a VA job or not just for a work-from-home job. Well, basically, kasi pag work-from-home, parang you're on your own eh. So, isa yun sa mga parang um, skills na kailangan mo talagang matutunan <coughs> yung how to be um, independent and how to take initiative kasi walang magtuturo sa'yo, ba? Diba? Si, si client, madalas walang time yan para matuto. And, nandiyan lang naman si Google. <laughs> Isi-search mo lang naman lahat ng mga kailangan mong malaman And everything will be, you know, everything will be um, dispensable to you. So, madaling makuha. So, of course, you have to take the initiative. Um, basta ang, ang advice ko lang sa lahat, sa gusto mag-VA, sa gusto mag-work from home, please do not be confined with your job description. Learn as much as you can. Learn the skills that you think will be helpful. Of course, related sa ginagawa mo para naman pag nag-level up ka eh hindi naman so yun, na iba or hindi naman nagsira <laughs> napahaba na yung ating um, series ngayon but I hope uh, makatulong to sa mga mommies out there na gusto magkaroon ng extra income or sa hindi makapagtrabaho agad sa labas because of you know family matters nobody's taking care of the children walang maliliwan sa mga kids kasi si hubby busy sa labas may trabaho and things like that So, yun. Um, virtual assistant jobs or VA jobs are very, very in demand nowadays. Nakita ko talaga yung growth niya since the time that I've started as a VA myself and I was able to grow and level up and everything. Talagang um, nag, nag-grow na yung independency. Actually, yung, yung work from home na yan, it's basically the same thing as BPO. Yung mga BPO industry natin, nagkataon lang sila may office setup. Siyempre, malaking kumpanya yon. Pero yung mga small to medium enterprises abroad, like in the US, Australia, and UK, na cannot afford to 
um, tie up with a big um, company here in the Philippines to handle their outsourcing needs for them. Nagahire sila ng individual contractors or independent contractors, and um, yun yung inaano nila, yun yung ginagamit nila. So malaking bagay yon, malaking opportunity. And believe me, yung mga sinasabi na ibang walang career growth, so working from home, no, it's not true. I've been there and I have seen and I was able to grow myself as a virtual assistant, as a digital marketing manager, lahat yan natutunan ko online. Um, right now, I have um, a corporate job and I also have, you know, yung may mga, may marami pa ring offer. So, yun, yun yung mga kailangan nating matutunan. Lahat yan po pwede mangyari online. There's nothing impossible. If you put your mind to it, you have the passion and you have the determination to do that. You are committed to provide the services that your client is requiring from you. That's it. Okay? So, yun. So, yun lang yung advice ko. Um, probably next time, we're going to discuss saan ba yung mga legitimate na mga website na pwede nyo hanapin para makapaghanap kayo ng VA job. Okay? So, I'm going to share that to you next time. But until then, uh, just, you know, subscribe to our blog. If you're new, click on subscribe and click on the alar- uh, uh, alar- alert button para pag may new um, video ako, um, ma-alert ka agad kayo. So, dahil nga yun yung vlog ko, so it's about family, love, and life. Hindi na puro tayo luto sa mga mami sa kailangan meron tayong pagkakitaan para meron tayong luto. So, um, keep on watching. Thank you, thank you for patronizing this video. And I really hope that this will help you, um, uh, what do you call this, earn and land a VA or virtual assistant job. So, thank you and have a nice day. Bye.